Hello, today we're at the American School of Flower Design with my pupil. Give me your name. Jackie. And where are you from? I'm from Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. Um, this girl is a, now I'm going to embarrass you, superstar, <laughs> okay? Capital S U P E R S E R. She has never done flowers before. And why did you come to my class? Because I am starting my own floral design business. I'm glad I'm good at it. <laughs> And she didn't know how good she would be. Um, she's hit, most students hit like three or four home runs in a week. This girl hit like 15 home runs in a week. Uh, this is the girl you want. Let's start with today's work. Here is her Napa Valley. This one's available for the online classes on my website. Uh, and you had actually ordered this one previously. I did. I did it at home. She did it at home for my online classes. Um, spectacular, perfect. Everything she does is like on the money. Spin it around. Let's see the other side. She doesn't like the other side too much. I like it just as well. Uh, how long does this take you to make? Uh, about 15 minutes. Yeah, about 15 minutes. Uh, she said a base of lemon leaf. Point to the lemon leaf for them. Mm -hmm. Yes, all that flat green stuff. Then she put in grevillea. Point to the grevillea. Mm -hmm. See if she's learned this week. I'm, <laughs> I'm just here. Point to the Italian eucalyptus or Guni, yes. Mm -hmm. And then she clustered and zoned her flowers, spinning around again, which means she placed all, this is a good technique for you guys at home. She put all her flowers in a grouping, a cluster and a zone. So they're all tight in one area. Instead of spreading them out, it's called cluster and zone. It's trending, it's new. Uh, pick it up a little bit more. And she has it in a funky container because it's the only <laughs> container we could find today. Okay, put it back down. Normally I use it in reclaimed wooden boxes. Um, there's approximately, in case you're wondering, there's about approximately five different greens. There's four, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, about 18 stems of flowers only. Uh, we call it the Napa Valley look. It's perfect for those grungy millennials who like their weeds and their vines and it'll please their mother as well at the wedding. Only you could do it in the wedding because it's kind of a fall vibe going on for our, let's say, party out at the winery in Napa Valley and Soho. Let's get a few close-ups. The sunflowers are really they're crisp. Really pretty they're pretty. nice today. Yeah, some new variety. Oh, that's kale, by the way. Yes. You're all wondering. Mm -hmm. Kale, I could cabbage. These are hypericum berries. This is called Luca Dendrum. And this is called uh, 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 Dusty Miller. Mini medium sunflowers or miniature almost, and then we have snapdragons out the side, and on the other side we have yarrow. There's your kale, a little pitis and some pitis parm as a zone of its own. So you mm -hmm. can use greens. The greens are zoned, and the flowers are zoned. Get it? Fantastic. Let's move on to this one. This is her challenge to fill a ball of flowers. Now, I know you all think, oh, how hard is this one? It's extremely difficult. The secret was to build an infrastructure of greens. You can see one sticking out right there a little bit. So it gives you the guidelines of where to put your flowers on top of those greens, not in the greens on the stove. But, so if you do have a hole, at least they'll see greens when they look through the hole. But she managed to pull this one off, creating the solid ball. And look how your little greens just kind of peek out. It's actually very pretty. Pick that one up. She has it in a glass cube, which is, I think, bush pink. To avoid seeing the foam, you would wrap it in fake aspidistra leaves. Do not use fresh leaves, right? Right. You wrap, there's a, there's a, it comes on a roll about this wide, and it's like a, a ribbon. But it, it, it's shaped like sense of, it looks like sense of area leaves, striped leaves, and you wrap it inside that glass container, then put your foam in, and then design. So you won't sell that foam, but we won't worry. It was a, it was a blush pink glass container. It's very pretty, but once you put the foam in. Anyway, excellent job. This one has, let's see, 7, 8, 10, 12, 13, 20, probably 50 stems, right? Did you say? Probably, yeah, it's a lot. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 12, 13, 14, 20, yep, about 50 stems as opposed to 18 stems. Which one do you like better, my dear? I like this one, so I like she, color. Oh, she likes that. She goes for that. Yeah. <laughs> the lots of flower girl. Mm -hmm. uh, I, well, you're so I good. Like I don't know. I like them both, but yeah. a, a guy, I like, I'll take that one for my tables. Yeah. But that is so pretty. Too bad. 
Where does your mother live? Oh, she lives two miles away. <laughs> oh, that one should go to your mother when you <laughs> get home. Uh, moving on, here we have her English topiary. Uh, Asiatic lilies tied in a knot and dropped into a container. We brought some of the a few stems down here to add uh, uh, continuity in our design. Unity picked that one up. And she has a spectacular golden sort of ombre, it's not ombre. pot. Um, this is a super quick one. How long did this one take? Oh, you? what, five minutes? Five minutes, Maybe. yeah. And when those lilies open up, gravity will start to pull these down, and she'll have like a nice round ball. They'll start to actually hang down like this, and it will be spectacular. There'll be 40 open lilies on that. By, what's today? Thursday by Monday. It will be in full bloom. Uh, Topier, that one retails for about, in that pot, around $85 per table. It's a very nice pot. Pretty golden um, ombre, am I saying that? Yeah, I think ombre. you're right. <laughs> I think you're right. Yeah. I think I've ever said that word in my Sounds life good. before. <laughs> I hear it in fashion all the time when I work in New York, 7th Avenue, ombre fashion, or ombre colored fabric. So, we have Napa Valley. We have the winery look. We've got, this is for everyone's mother look. It's called an English mass design. It's a solid ball of mass flowers. Not line flowers, but mass flowers. Then we have our topiary next and final today's project. We do four to five projects every day with this girl. Um, she, I only get her for a week, and look what she's doing. This is your fourth day of designing. There's a star. <laughs> Hire me when you get big, okay? okay. Don't, don't forget me, please. <laughs> she's, I'm telling you, she hits it. Look at this. This is after four days of designing. Um, topiary. Topiaries are always spaced apart, never clustered in zone, unlike this one, the opposite of that one. You want to give their own room, point to the protea. That retails for $45 these days. They're very expensive. Point to your birds of paradise. Yep, yep. Those average around $750 a stem today. Point to your pincushion protea right there, sweet little thing. I know you all wonder what those are. They look like a pincushion, hence the name. Um, and the other flower is leucodendron, the brown leucodendron, which isn't actually tropical, but it feels tropical. So we use it in tropical work. And then you have your dendrobium orchids right over there, purple variegated white. Those are naturally colored. They're not dyed like the blue ones you see. And again, we couldn't find the right pot, so we put it in an old, <laughs> ignore the pot. Uh, but really pretty. These are all over every hotel, lobby, restaurant, gallery open. We also use them for um, uh, funerals for men a lot. So there you go. Any That one retails for about 125 that one 85 This one is expensive. 50 is at least 100 and this one is 145. Your favorite one of the day? Oh. Look at this girl. Four days designing. I like this one just because it was so hard and, and it came out okay. So. She I likes the that. tropical. Uh, this girl is a star. Remember her name? Uh, really, really good. Uh, and she's leaving tomorrow. She came from Austin to Dallas to design, and she leaves tomorrow. What are you going to do with your newfound skills? I'm going to start a business. She's going to start a business. She should start a business. You're amazing. You really, I have to say it on film. You, Thank you. I hardly, I hardly uh, 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 corrected her on any of them. A little bit, a little tweak here, there. That was it. And she produced, if she walked into my shop, I'd say, I have to have you working for me. What, name your price. <laughs> what else do you want? Give her a car. The first guy who hired me, that's what he said to me. I said, I can't work for you. I already have a job. He's like, I said, by the way, the flower shop's too far away. I don't own her car. He said, you can have my car. <laughs> really? What else are you going to give me? I need insurance. You can have insurance. So that's what you would do with a girl like this. She's only been designing a week. In six months, she would be the top designer in my flower shop, and I'd be leaving on the weekends telling her to do my weddings. Don't bother me. Um, anyway, we're at Dallas, uh, Dallas School of Flower Design. We're on to, we do have schools in, what, 15 cities and in Paris, London, and Rome. This is what happens after four days. She still has another day tomorrow. We're going to tour the marketplace, and she's also going to design a wedding on her own without my help, which are buckets of flowers are accumulating over there. 
So I'm just going to throw her flowers and say, do what you do, and she will be the star. We'll have a second video of that tomorrow for you. That's a good idea. See what she does. But her work this week has been stellar, absolutely stellar. Uh, I'm Michael Gaffney saying uh, visit us at flowerschool101.com. Classes in California, Minneapolis, Milwaukee, Washington, Florida, where else? Boston, coming up in Phoenix. Anyway, um, congratulations. You, you're, you, I told her she's in the top percentage of all my students in the last 15 years. So um, see you later. Keep blooming. <laughs>